Welcome back to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing some long layering with some side swept bangs. So we're going to start here with my perimeter section in the back and I'm going to use the Feather Styling Razor W today. Now this is a double sided razor so I can use two different types of blades. I'm using on one side the Type R which is a minimal guard so I can go through and feather just like a regular razor and cut my lengths with that. And then on the opposite side you'll see me switch the blade over I'm using the texturizing side. Now the texturizing side is not going to cut straight across, it's only going to channel through and give me more separation than if I was to just use the Type R or the standard feather styling razor which will cut completely across. So the texturizer with the channeling allows me to skip more separation to it than I would using a regular feathering razor technique like this. So I'm going to go through, hold everything down, Cut my length first with my Type R blade and then I'll go through with each section and very gently and very carefully in the bottom two or three inches just go through and taper all of that through and soften the edges up. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of Jatai Blade Glide Plus. That's going to make the razor glide across the hair a lot smoother. It's going to give me a cleaner cut and I'll have fewer snags than if I didn't use that. Now it's not going to make the hair flat or heavy or be too silicone-y. It's a nice, clean, light spray that makes my razoring a lot more efficient and effective. Now I'm just going to follow the same type of pattern that I've been doing, hold everything straight down, razor my length off with the Type R blade, and then I'll go back with the texturizing blade right over the same section and texturize those ends and remove some weight. And here you can really see how I'm channeling through every other piece and not across the whole blade. If you're not already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up, and click the notification bell for any kind of future content that we upload. Now I'm going to continue to comb everything down. This is the end of my perimeter, just making sure everything blends the length that I want and making sure that I have the right texture all the way throughout the ends. And just being very diligent and very methodical and deliberate about where I'm placing the blade, especially with that texturizing blade, because it's deceiving how much hair it can remove in a very short amount of time. Now we're going to start working around the front, and this is how we're going to start working our side swept bangs in. I'm taking the first flat section right off of the front hairline all the way over to the high point of the ear. Then I'm going to comb everything forward and down and start in the center at my shortest piece, which is going to go just slightly below our eye. And then I'm going to cut a really steep angle going down and back. Now the steeper the angle, the longer that I'm going to leave in the front on the corner around the front hairline over the ear. The more shallow that the angle is, the more mullety that my layers are going to be. And the, the shorter that it's going to be over the ear as I'm working towards the back. So whatever shape that you find more appealing to your end result, then that's what you should do. Here we're going to do a little in between. It's a little mullety and it's a little longer, but it's not going to completely blend with the back. So here you'll see me disconnecting it from the back right there, where I'm going to leave it a little bit more separating around the front. Now we'll go through with our texturizing blade and get a really good idea how much hair that's taking out. And you can see how it's channeling it really cleanly through there without a whole lot of effort. Now right around here I want that bang a little undercut around the front so it sweeps over a little more. So the angle helps but undercutting it and texturizing it more around underneath right around the front will give me a little bit more push over to the side. Now I'm going to take my shortest piece that I used for the left side and use that as a guide for the right side and continue that down at the same angle that I had cut on the right side. Continue working that all the way down and through, cutting my length first, and then going through and adding the right amount of texture so that it matches. And I have to be very, very conscientious about how much that I'm taking out, because some hair, like around here, you can see it doesn't require as much hair being removed. So I'm going to be mindful of that as I'm working through and blending everything through. Please check out our socials at Jatai Feather. We've got Facebook, Instagram, 
Pinterest, TikTok, we got it all. To tie feather. So now we're going to continue on working through the back, taking a parallel section that I did around the front hairline. Now I'm working that back and through, holding it the same angles that I was holding the front pieces, which is down and forward at about a 45 degree angle. The more that I pull it forward, the more movement that I'm creating going back. The more straight down that I'm holding it, the less movement that I'm introducing, but the more weight. Now, the more weight can be dealt with by using my texturizing blade, but the movement can't. So I have to be mindful of that and knowing that how it's going to affect my end result and my overall shape. Now we're moving on up the head as we're applying our texture. Some sections will require a little bit more, some will require a little bit less. So just paying attention and dialing it in exactly what it needs to be applied. Doing the same thing on the other side, cutting my length first, and then going through and applying any kind of texturizing. Now as I get to the bottom length, I'm separating this from my initial length that was a little bit shorter underneath by the ear. The texturizing will help blend everything through so it's not going to matter. You're not going to have a lump separate around the front as it transitions from my bang section through my layering through my length in the back. Shape's looking pretty good, shaping up. Combing everything else in the back, seeing if anything hangs over that front. I'm not going to apply any texturizing to this section because I already did it when I cut my length. Now we're going to go through, put a little bit of texturizing spray into the hair thoroughly, blow it dry. I'm going to start with a power dry to make sure everything is dry at the scalp. And then I'm going to go through with a round brush and just polish everything off. Going back and forth on each section, making sure everything's dry. We got it stretched clean, pulled smooth, and here's our end result shaping up. And I think that we got a great amount of texture to it. I think it's looking pretty good. It fits her hair well. The color is amazing. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. You can notice that the texturizing is only on the bottom three inches, and it's really textured. Normally, if I channel cut that, it gets stringy. So check out Tai Academy. I think you'll find a lot of really good content on there, and we'll see you next time.